Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra 3 months free. Hey everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online San Andreas Mercenaries in-depth guide. Today we are taking a look at the new tactical SMG, going over its important stats to help determine if it's indeed the new best weapon to use while in vehicles. And to do that we will be comparing it to the other automatic drive-by weapons in the SMG and pistols class. And before I begin, I just want to thank my friend Ender for helping me record and test for this video. Now, to get your hands on the Tactical SMG, you need to purchase it from the Gun Van. That is the only way you can get access to this weapon. And the Gun Van can be found in various spots around the map that change each day. So it's not going to be in the same location you're seeing me get it from in the footage, most likely. And it's also likely not going to be there forever. I believe when the Railgun came out, it was available for a month or so before it cycled out. So just grab it while you can. And if you need help finding the gun van, in the description I'll link a nice map that you can use to find it each day. Now then, the Tactical SMG will kill a player in 14 shots to the body, and it has a damage value of 25. As to how that stacks up against the others, that's pretty good. This is the same damage as the popular AP pistol, as well as the SMG Mark II, which can only be used from bikes. So just in terms of damage, it's already on par with the preferred weapon from vehicles. The lock-on range of the TAC SMG is 55 meters with a max range of 120 meters, and this is the same across all the SMGs as well as the AP pistol. It's pretty standard. For its rate of fire, in the game files it has a time between shots value of 0.115 which is a little bit slower than the AP pistol, the micro SMG, and the mini SMG. And how that translates to fire rate, it has an RPM value of 521.74 which I guess theoretically would be rounded down because you can't shoot a portion of a bullet. However, this actually isn't the final fire rate that you see in game because there's another variable that goes into it, and that's the anim fire rate multiplier. And this either will increase or decrease the speed of the firing animation. If you make weapon mods on PC and you want to change the fire rate of a gun, you will have to change this value alongside it, otherwise the fire rate doesn't actually change. So if the anim fire rate value is over 1, it's speeding up the fire rate, but if it's below 1, it's slowing down the fire rate. And for the tactical SMG, it's being sped up 10% from the multiplier, while weapons like the SMG Mark II and the machine pistol, which gets the worst treatment here and is partially why that gun fires as slow as it does, gets its fire rate decreased from that multiplier. So our final fire rate for the attack SMG ends up being 573.91, which is only a little bit slower than the AP pistol, and really you're going to hardly notice that difference. The mini SMG shoots really fast because it also has a 1.1 anim fire rate value, but you'll see later why it doesn't really matter for that gun because it has some other severe drawbacks. And since we know the shots to kill and the rate of fire for the weapons, we can now calculate the time to kill, which for the tactical SMG ends up coming to 1.359 seconds. This is assuming you're shooting at the body of the player, we'll talk about headshots in a second. But this TTK value is only 6 thousandths of a second slower than the AP pistol, which kills the fastest out of the bunch. And again, this is a very small difference. Player network ping, for example, has more variation than that. But logically speaking, the AP pistol still deals the most amount of damage in the quickest amount of time. Another important aspect of combat in GTA Online, though, in general, in both PvP and PvE, is headshots. Most of your kills in this game, because of how the auto-aim and headshot multiplier works, will be headshots. But especially in PvP, when you're doing a drive-by on a player, if you're a passenger, you want to get that quick headshot with auto when you're driving by, so you want to pick a weapon where the distance you can one-shot them from is the greatest. And so that's why I tested the one-shot headshot range of these weapons. And it basically correlates to the damage of a weapon. The higher the damage, the higher it's able to one-shot headshot from, usually. The machine pistol has the longest one-shot range of 19 meters, followed just one meter less by the tactical SMG, the SMG Mark II, and the AP pistol, and then it drops down another 5 meters to 13 meters with the micro SMG and the mini SMG, so those two are not very good. You'll have to be much closer to get that one-shot kill, which can be the difference of you getting one-shot and you hitting the enemy in the head, but not one-shotting them, because you'd be out of the one-shot headshot range. Accuracy is also extremely important here, probably the most important aspect of weapon in GTA Online where any weapon can be one shot in the right distance. You need to be able to hit that shot. To test accuracy, I shot each gun at the hangar wall here from the same distance, and looking at the spray patterns close up, right away we noticed the SMG Mark II is the most accurate, which is probably due to the fact that it has some Mark II attachments helping the accuracy. I'm not really sure exactly how they influence it, but that just seems to be the case. 
The micro SMG also is surprisingly accurate, despite in the game files it having one of the highest accuracy spread values, so its attachments also might be helping it there. Meanwhile, the tactical SMG and the AP pistol look to be about the same, I would say. And we also have to mention the very major detail about the tactical SMG. You can have a 60 round magazine with the extended mag attachment, which makes it the largest magazine weapon you can fire from in a car. From a bike, it's going to tie with the SMG Mark II, which also has a 60 round mag. And even then, the compact rifle would be the highest at 100, but we're talking just SMGs and auto pistols here. So for this accuracy test, that's the whole 60 round mag being fired at the wall, whereas the others have a chance for the bloom to subside while reloading their smaller magazines. So to still keep mostly the same accuracy for the entire 60 round mag as a gun with a 36 round mag, that's impressive. And so to answer the question, is it the best gun to use for drive-bys now? Well, let's lay everything down on one chart to see. Highlighted in green are the best in class values for each category, and highlighted in red are the worst in class values for each section. Looking at the tactical SMG, it has no worst in class values, which is good, and it happens to have one of the most impactful best in class values, which is the mag size, which almost doubles every other weapon it's being compared to, so it's not even close. The tactical SMG is basically an AP pistol with a little slower of a fire rate and almost double the mag size. Damage and range wise, they're the same. From a car, the AP pistol and tactical SMG are the only two that don't contain any red values, which is a strong indicator why so many people favor the AP pistol and why so many people will likely use the new gun as a replacement even to the AP pistol. When it comes to bikes, you might still be better off with the SMG Mark II just for the superior accuracy, but it just depends on what you want. Do you want more fire rate or do you want more accuracy? For the other weapons, some of them might have better values like higher rate of fire, but then they also have massive drawbacks like having terrible accuracy and low range like the mini SMG, or they might have good damage and good range, but the fire rate is just too slow like the machine pistol. As for me, I'm going tactical SMG pretty much all the time now, even over the AP pistol. That massive magazine just makes such a big difference in gameplay. You just realize you can keep shooting and shooting until the enemies are dead, whereas before, you sometimes would have to reload to get the next few shots off for the kill because the accuracy wouldn't help you out. Also, the sound of the tactical SMG is just great. Very satisfying with the suppressor on it. So yeah, this is a great weapon. It's nice to finally have an SMG they added that's actually useful because typically SMGs aren't very useful in this game. So they did a good job with this one. Let me know what you guys think about the new tactical SMG down in the comments. Has it replaced the AP pistol for you? And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. Once again, thank you to my friend Ender for helping me record and test for this video, as well as to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.